Hey everybody. So during the holidays, a lot of times we'll be working during the day and then later that day we'll have some kind of event to attend for like a work Christmas party or we're going to go out with friends or maybe get a bite to eat, something like that. And we don't want to have to stop at home and have to reapply our makeup all over and take everything off and start over again. So I'm going to be talking about how to go from a daytime look and transition that into a nighttime look in this video. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, stay tuned. Okay, so a general nice daytime look is, you know, something like this, something nude, a light brow, not really anything much going on on the lashes, um, a little contour something fresh and light, nothing too heavy. But if you're going out at night, generally you like a little bit more drama, a little bit more depth to the eyes, a little bit more oomph in the cheeks, a darker lip maybe. So here is a good way to not have to reapply all of your makeup. Make sure that you start with a good base. I usually you think about what I would use as a transition color for a dark smoky eye and use that as my lid color and kind of use a, the lightest color that I always use on my brow bone to blend them together right above the crease. And that's how it starts in the daytime. So then when I have to go back in at nighttime without having to take it off, all I do is I take a little smudge brush and then a dark shadow and we deepen that up. And today I'm going to go in with, hmm, what color do I want to do? Let's see. I think I'm going to go in with Smolder in the Naked Smoky Eye Palette. And that's just like a really deep, dark plum. I started out with like a nice mauve base here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that smudge brush and I'm going to go in and I am going to apply that along my lash line, my outer V, and a little bit into my crease. And then I'm going to go in and smoke out my lower lash line with that same color. Then what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go in with that color that I had on my lids earlier and I am going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend the edges out above my crease. And uh, the color that I used is the number 7 in the Sephora holiday packet here. This little triangle in the middle. I'll just take this fluffy brush go above my crease with it. Okay, and now to add a little bit more depth and a little bit more drama, what I'm going to go in and do is I'm going to take an angled brush here, and this is the Face Secrets Liner Brush, um, and I am going to dip that into Black Market in the Naked Smoky Eye Palette, and I'm going to take that along my lower lash line and really pack, or my upper lash line and really pack that in and do the same on my lower lash line right where the lashes are. Okay, now what I did with that was I kind of went from my lower lash line and elongated it a little bit and that's going to make my eyes appear wider and lifted. And now what I'm going to go in and do is take that same brush that we started with and I'm going to go again with the smolder and smoke out the top of that line I just made. And then I'm going to use a clean fluffy brush to blend that. What I like to do is I take that same um, packing brush, little tiny smoking brush, 
and I'm gonna take that smolder again and I'm gonna put it on my inner corners and that's just gonna add more depth and it's gonna really bring my eyes forward because my eyes are gonna be so white in contrast. Then what I'm gonna do is I am going to get a nice dense packing brush like this and I'm gonna pack on a really light color right on the lid. And the last step is to really highlight your inner eye corner. Um, I am going to be using Today I'm going to use number 9 in that Sephora palette that I had brought out earlier. And I'm going to just, what I do, like to do is I just get it on my pinky because I find it comes out so much more pigmented. And I just get it and I really go in. Woo! And I put that on that inner corner. Okay, so that's how I do the shadow. So I'm gonna go in and do the other eye, the other eye now for you guys. So I will be right back. Okay, so now that we're back and we have both eyes all done, we're gonna go in and we are going to add some drama with some different liners. I'm gonna go in with a pencil liner first and then a liquid liner after. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. And I'm going to apply that to my waterline and just above my, uh, my top lashes. Okay, and do you see how that just defined my eye so much more? Like, look at this one. It's, it's there and it's apparent, but this one just is a little bit deeper, a little bit smokier because we added that. And now what I like to do is I go in with a, a liquid liner and I make a wing. Okay, so now do you see the difference between just having the shadow liner, which you can stop at, it still looks very nice, or if you go ahead and do the pencil and the liquid to add that wing. Just adds a little bit more depth, a little bit more darkness, a little bit more oomph to your look. So, and the bigger the wing, the more drama you'll have. Um, I kind of went, since my eyes were so dark, I kind of went a little bit lo lighter with the wing than I usually do. Um, and it just kind of extended my eye and it adds a little bit more plumpness to my lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same to this eye now. Okay, so now that you have both of your eyes winged and lined and ready to go, you can stop there because you probably already have mascara on from earlier, or you can add some lashes and some more mascara to add a little bit more drama, a little bit more oomph to your eyes, or you can move on and go to the lips. Now, since I'm not really going anywhere, I don't really want to add any lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for today. And I'm gonna go in and change the lip up. And again, you can leave it at this because this is drama. This is deep, smoky, nighttime, going out makeup. But you can always change the lip and I am a sucker for a baby lip. So I'm gonna remove the nude and come back. Okay, so that nude is gone. And now I'm gonna go in and do a nice deep red, dark, baby lip. And I like to start that out by getting a black pencil liner and lining my lips. So today what I'll be using for that is Maybelline's Unstoppable. Um, I find it just works really well on the lips. Uh, I could be wrong. If you know of a better black liner that works really well on lips, let me know down below in the comments. But so far this has been working out pretty good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with that. Uh, 
Okay, so now that my lips are lined the way that I like them, I'm gonna fill them in in the corners and kind of come up from the line a little bit. Now, once I have that all ready to go the way that I like it and it you look insane, um, and you're going to go in with a red lipstick. Now, I am going to use my absolutely New York matte stick, and I am going to put that all over my lips and kind of blur the lines between black and red. But I'm going to start in the middle so that the most pure red pigment is in the middle. Okay. And there you have it. That is how you go from a daytime to nighttime look without having to remove any of your makeup. Just add a little dip depth to your eyes, a little extra liner and a dark lip, and you will be on your way ready to go. So if you like this tutorial, then please like and subscribe. I hope to see you guys again next week. And if you would like to see the application of how my daytime look got started, uh, comment below and I will upload that video for you guys next week. Happy holidays!